pardon my French, literally, because I don't know how to pronounce the name Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. And I'm not a fashion guy, as you can see, I'm always wearing the same clothes and I really just don't care much about fashion. But with that said, today what we have here is something unique. So what we're gonna do here is to take a look at Louis Vuitton's 200th anniversary game. And I first saw this on Twitter and it was promoted quite heavily as well. I was just scrolling through my usual Twitter feed and then I saw the Louis Vuitton game. I was intrigued because I'm a sucker for 3D platformers and by the looks of it, it does seem like a 3D collector-thon kind of game which is right up my alley. So let's take a look at this game in this video. So Louis the game, this is the official name of this game which you can literally go into the Play Store and download it for yourself if you want to try it out. And I don't know what is happening here, why is the resolution so weird? Okay, I don't think this is much of an issue anyway. Uh, EULA, I'm not gonna bother with it. And uh, eh, how can I skip this? Okay, that's the button. Okay, user agreement. Save and continue, yes. And here we have a few modes to try out, so let's head into the settings and see what's up. We can change all of these settings here, not too much. There's achievements? What? So if you got integration with the Google Play games, then you're gonna get achievements. And yes, I was correct about the 200 years of history for Louis Vuitton. Uh, I'm not gonna try pronouncing some of these names. So let's, let's straight away proceed with the game. It's a highly stylized kind of game. So there's time trial. I suppose that's for you to speedrun the game, but we'll go into story mode and see what's up. I hate this stuff. Let me full screen the view. So the game is highly stylized. That's all I can say. So is this Louis? Wow, okay, everywhere is LV. The the D-pad is the LV emblem. Uh, again, I'm not too sure what's the LV emblem is. This is for the camera. And then tap twice to center. Okay, it's pretty basic. Uh what? Oh it's Vivian, not Louis. Okay. So backpack. Mmm, postcards, okay. The text is so small, I suppose if you have a device like the, the brand new Samsung Galaxy Fold 3, it will be much better experience. We can even change the outlook of Vivian. Uh, oh, we can even change the backpack, we got two backpacks. Uh, 12 different skins, can I even call it skins? Accessories? What do we have here in accessories? Okay, I can't type in accessories. Anyway, let's proceed. Um, swipe up to locate candles. Okay, this is a very chill game as there is a bunch of help options. Uh, the camera is just not good. Oh, we can jump! Bunny hopping is also possible if you want to do that. It's a really weird experience to play a game about some fashion brand to celebrate their 200th year of existence. It's, it's a pretty neat little game. I would say it's a nice design, that's for sure. This game, I would say it's actually a very, how do you say this, a high budget game to celebrate a uh, brand's 200th anniversary. It's very nicely made and yeah, it, I would say it is much better than many free-to-play games that's available in the Google Play Store right now. The mobile games in general, I would say. Oh, by the way, I'm capturing this using a brand new setup that I came up with. I'm using the Galaxy S21 Ultra hooked it up directly into the PC without the need of a capture card. Uh, 
I'm still testing things out, doesn't seem to be working that well. If you want to know how we recorded via OBS by just using one single cable, uh, do let us know because we might want to make another video on this. But we do need a bit more testing before we are able to produce that video. I mean, for a game that's themed around Louis Vuitton, there doesn't seem to be any designer bags. Uh, yeah, the only bag that's available right now is on Vivian. What's this chest doing? Okay, it's a key. How do I take... Okay. Uh, where's the candle? It's on top. How do I get up? Oh no, the camera's buggy. How do I jump up? Okay, I got up. Am I supposed to be here? Don't think so. Uh, oh, the candle is inside. Okay, let me get back down through this way. I... Yeah, okay, I'm supposed to go in the building from there. Okay. So where do I go now then? I'm pretty much stuck. Yo. Help me out. But where am I supposed to go now? Oh. Oh, okay. I even got an achievement. This is a very beautiful game. I, I still cannot believe that. This game is made to celebrate Louis Vuitton's 200th anniversary. Looks good. And I'm impressed that they kind of capture the the essence of those kind of uh, 3D platformer adventure kind of game. So you just run around, collect a bunch of things, have fun in the world. That's all I can think of. Something similar like uh, Mario Odyssey, Banjo Kazooie, that, those kind of genre of games. But of course, it's not as high budget as those kind of games. But it's still it's still a fun experience to play in the phone. Oh, okay, so there's more Louis Vuittons. Oh, you know what? This is a much better game than Balan, Wonder, Wonder World, Wonderland. Yeah, it looks a lot better, feels a lot better, and the gameplay is, well, less janky than the Balan Wonder World. Is it called Wonder World or Wonderland? Not too sure, I always call it Wonder World. See, you got all the elements of a typical platformer. And this is a reimagination of Paris. So the Eiffel Tower is there. Of course, it's not the 100% copy of Eiffel Tower, but it's it's similar. The iconic rooftops of Paris is also here. It's it's a very beautiful game to celebrate 200th anniversary of Louis Vuitton. It's a free game. You can head into the link in the description. Download it for yourself. It's free, you can play it on your mobile phone, it's available on both iOS and Android, I think. So yeah, you will need a pretty powerful phone to play. I'm currently using Galaxy S21 Ultra and I got like about 40-ish kinda FPS going on. You know what, maybe we should use this game to benchmark phones in the future because it's, it's pretty demanding. Should we? I think we should. Oh, Ferris wheel. Okay, let's take a high view of Paris. Is there anything to take around here? No? Okay. So, where should I go? Oh, okay, I should climb up that Tower Bridge. Is this Tower Bridge? I'm not sure. Tower Bridge is in London. Oh, they highlighted the candles for me, but uh, there's a candle here. Let me take that first. Then there's another one here, another one there. Then I fall down. Yeah, the controls of this game is pretty good. I mean, there's nothing much to press anyway, but it's tight because 3D platformer games need really tight controls. This game has it, and I can even walk on water. Okay.
how do I go? Okay. I mean, this game is... Uh, I think they hired game designers to make this game. Level design. I don't know if I should call it level design. It's also good. And as you can see here, there's one piece of that puzzle that's hidden inside here. We need to grab this ledge, go inside this tiny little slot, go up the slope, and then you find the candle at the top here. Why can't I climb it? Can I climb up? Okay, now I can climb up for some reason. Nope! I'm gonna end this video here because if I'm gonna do that 200 postcards in this video, it's gonna be really long. So yeah, this is just the gist of the Louis Vuitton game that's available for free right now. You can download it for yourself and then you can play it for your own as well. Yeah, it's a good game. Kinda unexpected. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So, yeah.